Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger coming at you with some more <gasps> League of Legends. That's right. <laughs> what else is new? Anyways, my team across the top, Scion with a beautiful skin, Graves, Gangplank, I'm playing Pantheon and, uh, yeah, Annie. We'll get to that. We're up against Heimerdinger, Lux, Olaf, Treadmere, and definitely not Blizzcrank. Now, I'm going to be straightforward with you folks uh, on this one. The other team should have won. Period. I'm pretty sure they had us beat. However, Olaf, Big Bear 42, disappears in the middle of the fight. In the middle of the game. And so it ends up a 4 on 5. Now, why am I going to put this up? Because it's kind of unfair. Yeah, well, it's to show you things that can happen. And because the Annie in this was almost worthless, so it was almost like a 4 on 4. Almost. It was kind of like a 4 and a half on 4, I think. Maybe not even a 4 and a half. So, again, I'm playing one of my favorites in Pantheon. I don't know. I don't do the greatest with... with uh, playing a lot of these. It's because I don't stick to a single hero and, and learn everything and the make a specific rune page for them. I eventually will. I hate when my cursor gets stuck like that. I eventually will make specific rune pages. Right now I'm trying to get at least uh, several general rune pages. One general defensive for magic, one general defensive for physical, a fully defensive for tanks, and then I want a fully offense physical, fully offense um, magical, and then I'll use the last couple to make for specific champions if I have to. But uh, Annie going down bottom by herself, that's not the best thing in the world, especially against Heimerdinger, especially that Annie. So we're headed for our collision up top. I still don't like how loud the... There. I jump in against definitely not Blizzcrank. Trying to cap the point, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Not entirely sure what I'm doing. But we're all just kinda messed around here. Treadmere joins the battle. Olaf goes down. Definitely not Blizzcrank. He has got to get out of there. He flashes away, saving his skin. That leaves Lux and Treadmere. Treadmere getting hurt pretty badly. I'm like, no more mana. Blizzcrank wants to pull me away. Hey, that's fine. You guys want to kill me? Go ahead and kill me. But I managed to get Treadmere before going down. Blizzcrank goes down to Graves. And Lux is getting out of there. Finally going to cap the point. Um, or not, because Lux comes back and decides to make herself annoying. See, this is one of those things where somebody needs to go and just drive her away while somebody else caps. Unfortunately, yep, yeah. <laughs> our wonderful Annie, don't know what Heimerdinger was thinking, but, um, and I don't know why Scion didn't pursue him either, but this is why I tend to carry Garrison, so I can just run through and push somebody off a point. This, that's what this game is all about. And down goes good old Heimer. Unfortunately, Treadmere is coming in. That's going to make capping the point a little difficult. Because you see, Annie back here is a little too busy fighting minions. You know, rather than cap the all-important point while I was pushing Heimerdinger away. No, 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 no. Annie wants to fight minions because that's what Dominion's all about. And see here me yelling in chat, help, cap, damn it. And he's not listening. So, they're capping the top point up here. Lux is pretty hurt, but she'll manage to survive. Finally diving in against Treadmere a little bit. Annie gets in there, not like she's casting any spells. Finally managing to push Treadmere off the point, being able to recap it. Except Heimerdinger shows up. I was getting annoyed at this point. Yep, now I'm in a little bit of trouble, but I'm pretty sure I can get out. Except, no, I decide I can't let Heimerdinger cap the point. Trying my best to kill him, but I don't think it's going to happen. Oh well. 
he's badly hurt. And great, here comes Annie. Annie can just drop tippers on him, and it's over. No, she's going after the gun. Oh, there's Tibbers, finally. Too bad he didn't do anything. Anyways, another big fight up top right now. Lux generally making herself annoying, which is all I've ever seen Lux do. I mean, even if even if it's a good Lux player, I've never seen her truly get that many kills. But they managed to finish her off. We've only get two points capped because you know how great, as you can see here, Annie was. I almost wanted to kick Annie to the other team. It would have been more fair. Yeah, I come around this point up here to avoid Heimerdinger's cannons to cap the point. Heimerdinger's coming at a pretty fast clip. He's got the times three boots. Oh, look! There's my help in Annie. At least Annie tried to cap the point this time. I flash in to get Heimerdinger and just keep pushing him away. Annie does not cap the points. Minions do. Heimerdinger tries to come back. He gives me a stun, throws down this cannon. I just throw another spear at him just to try and make sure he keeps going away. But he's a pers pretty persistent little bugger. Graves trying to defend up top against definitely not Blizzcrank. And Olaf and Lux and, uh, you know, give him credit where credit's due. But he's just sorely outmatched. An ally has been slain. I'm coming down bottom again because, quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of Heimerdinger. An enemy has been slain. And I really just want to push him away from the point. I want to keep him back at his point. He throws his grenade. I know where it's headed, so I just run through it. I wait patiently. I decide, okay, I've had enough. Jump out. Use the spear thrust. In comes Lux. She manages to stun me. I'm pretty sure I'm done. But at least I protected the point, right? No. You have been slain. Ah, uh, great job, Annie. Great job. Let's see, we have Scion and Gangplank pushing away. Definitely not Blizzcrank. I don't know who it is, but I know it's not Blizzcrank. Bottom point being capped. Fortunately, in comes uh, Graves to help, but it's still three on one. Yes, I said three on one. Annie does not count in this fight. I leap in to help get uh, Treadmere off of Graves. And amazingly enough, we managed to push back three. I'm trying to cap the point while Graves keeps him off. It doesn't happen. Treadmere into his endless rage to save to save himself. I I go down. Still manages to get Olaf, but it's not enough to take out Lux. And Treadmere is coming back. That's okay. Here comes. Uh, never mind. Definitely not Blizzcrank is capping up top here. Going for the top point, putting us in a bad situation. You know, we've kind of managed to hold our own. Yeah, down by 100 points, but I've been down by worse. So there I go, garrisoning the point again. You know, that's what I do. That's why I carry garrison. A lot of people underestimate it. Garrison allows you to dive a tower if you're a fairly strong uh, character and take very little damage, especially if you know you've got the advantage against the one you're fighting. Scion, I, I don't know what he's building for. I mean, he's got double zeal with a BF sword. And Your team has captured a quarry. I don't know. I, I always figured that he should have more health and damage as well as speed, but whatever the case may be. Why that pull didn't work, I don't know. It kind of looked like it should have. This crank with some nice power on Scion. There's no way Scion's going to be able to dive that tower. So I don't know what he's trying to accomplish. And he gets yanked in. Now he's got a chance. He's got some health up. Tower gets shut off. Blizzcrank goes down. Scion manages to get him. 
Now around this point, I believe you're going to notice that Olaf is nowhere to be seen. If not this point, real soon. Yeah, they capped this point down here, and it kind of looks like they all decide they want to hang down around here. And whatever. This is Sparta! Shaboom! Yeah, it gets done, and I take a lot of damage, but really, I don't care. I'm here to try and hurt. I'm here to try and help with the point. And dead. But still, Heimerdinger's badly, badly injured. Scion managing to get both Lux and Heimerdinger, and he goes down... Uh, to Lux, who was already dead. That's about how Annie's game was going. Treadmere going for the buff in the middle. I don't know if you pronounce it Treadmere or Treadmere. And he inexplicably vanishes off of my screen. Because, hey, you know, I haven't seen a 1. Point or the 2.7 release of this yet. I'm kind of sitting around figuring out where I can be most useful. I should have headed for the top right away. Now I start heading for it, but there's no way I'm going to get there in time. I think what I'm going for is the buff in the middle. Yep, that's where I'm headed. The enemy has the and for some reason, the sound, the the music cut out of this game. So if you don't hear any music right now, th that would be why. The music just cut out of the game. Treadmere coming in after Scion with the buff. I'm coming in with the buff myself. In comes definitely not Blizzcrank. Some strange golem charging in. Gangplank throws down his ulti. Blizzcrank's ulti goes off. Scion, ch uh, not ulti, but protection goes off. Scion chases him out. Treadmere in endless rage, but it's not enough. Scion manages to finish him off, and we manage to cap the top point. That still leaves Heimerdinger and Lux down here. Plenty of minions working on capping the point. Graves manages to dash out of the way. I'm coming in to help. Annie is not there because she doesn't exist. Yes, don't bother capping the point at all, Annie. That's all right. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. They're both badly hurt. All I need is for one of them to accidentally come into range. And there we go. Unfortunately, uh, Lux got me with her stun, but that's okay. Pushed him off the point. That was the whole idea of the whole thing. See, we got Blizzcrank running away. Scion goes down to Treadmere. Not sure what that was. I think Treadmere kind of went through one of the buildings and inexplicably vanished off my map again. Gangplank uh, chasing down. Definitely not Blizzcrank. And he gets away. Graves is here working into the grass on the minions. I think he's rocking, yeah, he's rocking the black cleaver. That's what that little effect is every time he shoots a minion. Oh, we get uh, Gangplank in trouble. Here I come with my ulti. Unfortunately, I completely whiff, wasting it like a noob. Yeah, but you can definitely see Olaf is nowhere to be seen anywhere on the map. There's Lux, but I don't pursue her. I'm more interested in making sure our point down here is protected. Then I see Tredemir trying to cap this point up here. I'm like, no, I can't let that happen. I don't trace. I don't bleh, trace him. I don't chase him. I just wanted to get him off the point, make sure he doesn't come back. Heimerdinger in a little bit of trouble against Graves. Nope, Graves had too little health and allowed himself to be killed. Not the brightest of moves, but eh. hey, why don't we whip out Tibbers for no reason at all? Just drop him on a few minions and let him be there. And then, of course, don't send him after Heimerdinger because you know that would be smart. Yeah, and he was frustrating. Scion coming around the back, but it doesn't matter. Graves comes back and gets his revenge. 
Lux capping the top with a big wave of minions behind her. It's kind of interesting. They're putting us in a 3 to 2 cap with only 4 people. Yeah, this is uh, a bit of a long game, if you couldn't tell. So I got the buff, and I'm going to try and cap this point up here. Let's see. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Tredemir goes down to Graves, or, yeah, Graves and Scion. Definitely not Blizzcrank. Trying to get out. He stops for some reason. Heimerdinger coming in trying for the save. Scion will go down, but he got definitely not Blizzcrank. Graves, not enough. I managed to finish the cap up here while duking it out with Lux. I don't know. There was uh, Treadmere. Or, no, there's Olaf. I guess Olaf is trying to do something. It'd be funny he gets killed by minions. Treadmere trying to come in for the cap. Nope, I prevent that as well. Unfortunately, I'm going to be outmatched. I do this just for the hell of it because I'm pretty sure I'm screwed. Which I'd be right. If it wasn't for his endless rage, Tredemir would have been dead, but uh, woulda, coulda, shoulda, didn't. Scion going in after Blizzcrank. Now Scion is just strongly outmatched. Gangplank strongly outmatched. He just needs to get out of there and does. Lux going for a top cap. Gangplank could have intercepted. There he goes. He starts moving. He could have actually gone for this point, I think. It wouldn't have mattered. Oh, there's Annie! And all our worthlessness, you know, because let's not send Tibbers after the bad guys. Graves manages to take down Tredemir. So here I come in. I start going for the point. Nope. I know Lux is up here, but she's running around the side. She throws her little staff, goes after uh, Gangplank, but yeah, you can throw your little thing on me. It's not going to help you all that much. As you can tell by my items, I'm a little beefed up at least. Um, wouldn't have mattered maybe if they had all their people, but there we go. Lux goes down. Going to cap this point up here. Gangplank, I believe, is looking to... No, I thought he was looking to intercept Tredemir, but... Scion badly hurt. Blizz, uh, definitely not Blizzcrank. I'm sorry, I know that's not Blizzcrank. Um, it's hurt. But, um... Yeah, Blizzcrank goes down. Can Scion get Heimerdinger? Yes, he can. Nice move, nice move. I'm getting hit somewhere. I believe I'm fighting Tredemir up top. <laughs> Hi, Medinger. I hate your ulti.org. <laughs> I'm pinging for help up here because I know Tredemir's back there. I know he's going to keep collecting that health thing. And I can't come out against him because he will take me down. But Graves comes in, throws up the smoke bomb. Tredemir backs out. That's all I really needed. Annie down here doing absolutely nothing as normal. <laughs> yes, let's drop. Oh, for the love of God. Learn how to use Tibbers, please. Annie, if you watch this, learn how to use Tibbers. You have slain an enemy. Whoop, I got a kill. I got a kill. It must have been up here. An enemy has been slain. Definitely not Blizzcrank. Trying to be as interfering as possible, but it doesn't work. Gangplank and I managed to push him off. You know, I'm rocking some heavy health. I'm trying to be a, a tanky pantheon. Lux throwing in her ability. Doesn't matter all that much. The point is capped. They're outnumbered now. 
They're not outnumbered at this particular point, but they've been outnumbered. Scion, looking like he's going to be very brave. No, that would be dumb, just like we see Annie. No, Scion, no, no. Don't follow Annie, don't follow Annie, but he followed Annie. I start coming down here and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and I hide in the grass because uh, I didn't want anything to do with that. Except I know that if I don't do something, they're going to cap this point over here. Which they're probably going to cap it anyways. So I take off after Heimerdinger. I work to try and interfere on this point over here. Even just a little bit. I get myself completely raped. Please pass the Vaseline. That was very painful. Now, even in a even in a five-on-four situation where Annie really wasn't doing much, you know, you see they're pretty grouped up. You know, the three of them were in here. Liz Crank just coming out. They should have tried and just spread out. Scion getting the double kill with uh, Tredemir. I mean, granted, it spreading out might not have helped that much, but I don't know. The way I look at it is Annie really wasn't doing anything. You know, folks, so I'm just being honest. I, I really felt that the other team had this one, and, and the fact that Olaf disappeared really did tip the balance. So here we are, folks, coming down to an end. So something I'm going to touch on, I have a video that I'm putting up. It mentions a contest that I wanted to run. Um, I kind of ran it by on the forums over at League of Legends, and yeah, it wasn't well received. Uh, which is fine, I'm not mad about it. Um, you know, I thought it was a good idea, apparently nobody else did. Hey, you know what happens, you live and learn. So, I'm going to put this video up before that video, and hopefully people will watch this before that one. But I'm going to make sure to put a big annotation on the other one that the contest isn't going to happen. Um, as much as I would like it to, I, I don't think people will appreciate it. They, you know, A lot of people, it's too much work and only one person wins out of a hundred and some odd people. Yeah, well that's called a contest, but I can understand maybe the too much work thing, you know. It makes a little bit more sense like that. So, it was an idea. I guess it wasn't a good one. We live and we learn. Anyways, folks, hey, throw me a bone at least, all right? Follow the link down below. Sign up. Play League of Legends. Play it to at least level 5. All right? Throw me a referral. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could do that. Um, you know, if you already have an account. If you don't have an account, go sign up and play. This game is really fun. I enjoy playing it. I particularly enjoy Dominion. So much so I haven't gone back to Summoner's Rift in a long time. And I don't know if I will. Those games are very long. And, you know, if the game becomes lopsided there, it just becomes so bad. Where Dominion, if the game's lopsided, it's over quickly and you can move on. But anyways, folks, enough about that. This is one big bugger. I'm signing out and I'll see you next time.